So hello, everybody. Welcome back to Dex, Desks and Dorks. Uh, it's a board game design and tabletop show that's shaped by you, uh, bringing you the best at indie tabletop gaming. Uh, you've heard it before, but now I'll tell you one more time. Uh, we made a role-playing game, a $1 one-page role-playing game called Red Panda Redemption. Uh, and Yes, thank you. And I am joined by some phenomenal people, arguably the best gamers I've ever played with. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's high praise, but it's true. Um, <laughs> We listen. If you can cut your teeth playing King of Tokyo for sixteen hours a day for four days straight, and still be like absolutely chuffed to go play more board games the night before, you're probably you're probably a real one. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I'll let them introduce themselves. As always, I'm Kyle Ott, dork to Riley's desk. Uh, I will be the game master for this session, which is weird because I I just I don't get to play, which is I'm okay with it because I get to play a bunch of NPCs. Uh, I will let everybody introduce uh, themselves, and then I'll give a brief overview, and then we'll get started. Um, I will start with, uh, let's save Ike for last. <laughs> so I'll let Louise and Amy introduce themselves, then we'll do Ben, then we'll do Ike. I just, I want to close that one out with <laughs> Are we introducing ourselves as ourselves or as our characters? Both. So just tell the people who you are. Tell them something you want them to know. I don't know. Plug your merch store. <laughs> plug your your your, your artisanal afghan my business. social worker merch store your social worker merch store listen we're about one more dystopian uh governmental regime from that probably being a thing oh. <laughs> i mean i thought they'd not be student loans any other way at those points so. yeah. i'm amy and i knit things like this hoodie and roll a lot of dice um, and today i'll be playing uh cora tumbleweed the uh mail order bride to the old west my husband died and i gotta take care of the tortoise ranch on my own i'm pretty good at rooting and being kind but not so good at anything else <laughs> oh my god you're the den mother oh god every single time <clears throat> listen don't fuck too late hi i'm louise um when i'm not playing the rpgs i'm maniacally running them and causing several other people to you know have mental breakdowns over various shenanigans created in campaign. Um, tonight, I will be playing Krim, the fastest fingers in the West, the saloon piano player. Excellent. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Ben. Uh, I own an online store called Are You Game? Uh, and uh, I am playing Bartholomew Morse Carlisle. A random British panda, red panda, that just decided to go to America one day. He's already regretting it. Can you, can you have a top hat and a monocle? I don't want to like backseat <laughs> make your character, I but just I want. I mean, he does. He yeah. absolutely has a top hat and a monocle. I say, old chap, I've deep fried a gun today. I love this country. Is he is he better at rooting or shooting? Because if he's better at rooting, there's a cane that needs to be added to this attire. Uh, no, he is uh, all about rooting, tooting, and shooting, but uh, he, he kind of looks down on everybody else because he thinks he's the best. <laughs> I just want to point out that there's no really historical analogs to the American Revolution, but like if you could just reference the Red Panda Revolution. Because <laughs> Red Pandas and Red Coats just sounds incredible. Bloody colonials. <laughs> Bloody colonials. <laughs> The red furs. Yep, no problem. Red furs. The red furs. Okay, That's I guess it's my turn. It is. <laughs> Hi, I'm Isaac. Nice to meet y'all, world of the internet. I am a person. I work for a toy store. It's great. I also sometimes like to work for Yellow and Demo Games. It's great. Uh, today, I will be playing Lupanda the Third, and uh, he's... He's good at shooting stuff, and he's nice, and, um, and and yeah, yeah, he's good at shooting stuff, and he's nice, and that's that's about it. He's he's a nice shooter. He that's he likes it. doing tricks. <laughs> he's doing. I like, uh, <laughs> came here to I do the nice ones, and then we have these two. <laughs> <laughs> I came here to do two <laughs> things. <laughs> came here to be nice and shoot guns, and I'm all out of bullets. <laughs> Yeah. Now, so here's a lollipop. I'm like the prima donna I am. Because I, 
got you. Oh, if you, uh, if folks, if you can't tell, um, we know each other pretty well. So this is probably going to be it. If you're not in for shenanigans, then go home, watch Critical Role. I don't know what you want. I'll be doing that next. I'll be okay. doing that next. <laughs> As long as you're not doing it while we're playing, I'm okay. No, 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 no. Uh, you so guys would in, hear it. That'd be awesome. In Red Panda Redemption, um, every one of us is obviously a Red Panda cowboy in a world of sentient animals. Um, yeah. As we talked about during character creation off camera, uh, this operates under the Disney rules. So um, there are going to be <laughs> there are going to be animals that are not sentient and do not wear clothes, a la Pluto. And then there's going to be the rest of us walking around doing our thing, uh, like Goofy. <laughs> Um, so if you see or notice a discrepancy, that's why, um, there are four main stats in red Panda redemption. It is be rooting, which is how good you are at rooting around the bud wrestling. So basically how big old strong your character is. Um, there is be tooting, which is how good you are at talking your way out of trouble. You silver tongue devil. You, uh, (laughs) there is also be shooting, which as the name implies is very good at shooting. Uh, also piano playing. Dynamite slanging, bow stranging, uh, and taxes. I made that joke off camera, but I'm still very proud of it. So I'm saying taxes a second <laughs> time because if there's a bigger outlaw than the IRS, I don't know what it is. Uh, last but certainly not least, there is the most important stat in the West, which is be kind, uh, which as the name implies is all about being nice to your fellow panda and or other woodland animal. I'd like to think this is Zootopia with the guardrails taken off but we'll see how this goes. I mean, we're here, so. Uh, and basically in this game, uh, pandas are going to ride into a town and attempt to fix uh, all of the issues that plague that town um, and then ride off into the sunset. So for the purposes of role-playing, we're going to assume that these characters all know one another already at the start. Um, they are have come to a new town. And as always, the game is always going to begin with the same line. It just says a tumbleweed bro- blows across the street and your red panda posse rides into town. A little bit of background for my red pandas. Um, You guys find yourself uh, at the place called Whistle Hill. Uh, Whistle Hill. Whistle Hill, which is a uh, prominent or was a prominent ski resort in the winter, uh, but has fallen under some hard times, as we all. Uh, You ride into town, a tumbleweed blows across the street, and your red panda posse rides into the town of Whistle Hill, at which point we will begin the game now. Uh, as you ride into <laughs> Whistle Hill, uh, I need every one of you to make a uh, B rootin' roll, please. While they're making okay. this roll. Uh, and we're with... adding our B rootin' score to our DCs, nope. right? No. So <laughs> nope. uh, you have to hit your rooting score or less in order oh. to succeed on this roll. Don't succeed. <laughs> Don't succeed. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's how this works guys so they've invested their points uh, into their stats uh, zero is the lowest the stat can go six is the highest the stat can go which automatically means a success on that particular uh character trait i almost said facet that's a different game uh that is also coming out from desks and dorks later in the year Ooh, yeah it's gonna be really good um but in any case uh so uh louise and ike your characters feel a slight tug of the ta- on the saddlebags of your uh, saddled animals. Uh, just really quick, what are what animals are we all riding into town today? Just so the, the audience at home can get a, a general feel for uh, you know what's what's being ridden and how. We'll start with Amy. I'm riding a donkey. Oh, riding a donkey. <laughs> Excellent. I'm riding a donkey. <laughs> Unfortunately, on my tavern salary, all I could afford was uh, the broken down armadillo that should have been retired. So I'm riding in on the armadillo, but my feet and my stirrups are dragging just a smidge. I'm obviously riding on one of the finest tortoises from my tortoise ranch, tumbleweed tortoises. We are right down the way, about three days ride. You need any tortoises, come see us. <laughs> By Jove, I have to say, my oddbach, Jeffrey, he is wonderful. He is a great man. <laughs> uh, perfect. Uh, so, Louise, Ike, you feel a slight tug on your saddlebags. You look down to find that some of your belongings have actually been absconded with uh, by a group of tiny children who run off in the direction of town, uh, stolen. They're doing a big steal. Um, that character doesn't know. An, an advanced oh, borrow. Like kids. 
uh, one of them who is a possum that is wearing nothing but like a sack of like it looks like a burlap sack that's been cobbled together into sort of rudimentary overalls just kind of turns around just goes <laughs> and then sprints off in the direction um, of town I look through my stuff as long as I still got some food on mine <laughs> do I got any snacks left <laughs> I literally have a bundle of collection letters so more power <laughs> for the first time since 06. <laughs> um, as they scamper off, you realize they knock down this older, uh, what looks like a turkey um, in a very large overcoat uh, who tries to like, turns around like he's going to stop them and then just kind of goes <laughs> before okay. shuffling up over to you guys. Howdy. Howdy, sir. Are you okay there? I think so. Those young whippersnappers did a big number on me. That's all right. Pleasure to meet you, Red Panders. My name's Padfoot Miller. I'm the sheriff. Nice to meet you, Padfoot. (laughs) It's a pleasure to meet you as well. That's a mighty fine looking animal you got there. Thank you. <laughs> a fine looking donkey. Uh, he makes, Ben, he makes looking, he's looking at your character and he just goes, I feel like your donkey is sick, sir. Don't suppose I've ever seen a donkey that looked like that before. You know, now that you mentioned it, this is not a donkey. This is an aardvark. It is by far the greatest animal you could possibly have as a mount. Jeffrey, we ride. <laughs> are you are you spurring Jeffrey it's onward? So slow that it's just... <laughs> <laughs> What'd you call it? A tree bark? That's the slowest tree freaking bark. tree bark I ever seen, sir. <laughs> Don't look like no tree to me. Clearly Where are you? you've never been to the south. The tree bark just be creeping on like that. That's mm. called the zoo. Oh, I suppose I'll have to venture out. Can't say I've ever been anywhere else other than Whistle Hill. My daddy lived in Whistle Hill. My granddaddy lived in Whistle Hill. I live in Whistle Hill. What was I talking about? Whistle Hill. Oh, Whistle Hill. Yeah, yeah, that's where I live. I'm Padfoot Miller. I listen on account that our young folk have stolen some of your goods. I'd be. Happy to treat y'all to a mighty fine drink of some fine creek water. That's, that's, that's what we got. I, I will happily indulge in creek water. <laughs> Excellent. I will uh, endeavor to guide you. He starts to walk slowly uh, towards the building, <laughs> and it is clear that even Jeffrey the tree bark uh, is faster than Padfoot Miller is. <laughs> but is my tortoise faster? Yes, by leaps and bounds. <laughs> He is a very well-bred tortoise. Your tortoise is the Usain Bolt of tortoises, and this is the Usain Bolt of running slowly. <laughs> uh, if so I can you, figure out where he's going, I want to go hold the door open for him. <laughs> uh, it's pretty easy to figure out where he's going. There is literally <laughs> one big building that doesn't look run down as all get out in Whistle Hill. Uh, it has a sign that says saloon that is literally hanging from a loose chain. Uh, and it just kind of swings gently in the breeze. It's clear that that's where he's taking you guys. So it is a hundred percent possible for you to beat him there and hold the door open for him. However, absolutely. Well. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna <take laughs> out of my bag and like stand on the top of my tortoise and try and fix the sign and like tie it up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have you make a roll. I either I'll say you know what if you have a higher shooting stat, you can do that. Uh, or a higher root and stat, you can do that to sort of tie it up. So whichever one that you'd like to roll, uh, and I'll say that uh, you can treat it as one higher because you're standing on your very helpful tortoise. Okay, well, my root is a five, and I got a four, so we're good. That's good. Yeah, you successfully are able to mend the sign, which is very nice. Louise, what is your character doing? Uh, well, I see the saloon, and my fingers are itching to uh, tickle them ivories, so I'm busting right in there seeing what kind of decrepit old piano they may have in stock. Excellent. So we'll get to that scene in a second. Amy is going to be uh, fixing that sign. Ben, <laughs> I just love how British your red panda is. What is your, what is your red panda doing, sir? 
Well, I will say, with with Lupanda holding the door open, I will gladly accept him holding the door open for me. So I will walk in <laughs> myself and I will avail myself of the patrons in this saloon and uh, and, and tell them tales of my great stories about about that, if everybody remembers, that great wolf in, you know, over in the East. Yes, I watched that get shot. What? <laughs> All I can think about is at some point, if you don't say it to industry, I'm going to quit. <laughs> I've been avoiding it. <laughs> I do say, good sirs, I have done no valiant deeds, but I have watched many valiant deeds done and even paid for some of them. Or tricked people to do it for exposure. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, let's do this. So we're going to do, we'll do uh, Louise and Ben uh, into the Red Panda Redemption. We'll do that in the, the saloon first. We'll do you guys. And then we'll have Amy, you and Ike are going to have a lovely conversation with Padfoot Miller, who just still seems to be taking his good old sweet time trying to get to the entrance of the saloon. No, he does the things and he does them slowly, but he does them well. You know? You can say a lot of things about Padfoot Miller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of things. Uh, okay, Louise, you uh, roll into the bar first, the saloon first. Uh, you find that despite the uh, decrepit nature of the building's interior, the or exterior, the interior of the building is actually quite uh, nice. I mean, it's nothing fancy. I mean, you've definitely been uh, to bars or saloons or, you know, flop houses in bigger cities that look like they could have, you know, burped this thing out. The flop houses. <laughs> Been kicked out of those places, you mean. Um, there after, is... After the evening entertainment, of course, but I always earn my keep first. Uh, there is... Uh, the floor is pretty well maintained, if a little old and a little worse for the wear. There's clearly wear and tear on the floorboards, but everything looks dusted and swept. Um, there is a series of portraits uh, which later on turn into very fancy daguerreotypes. And then finally, one of those newfangled photographs uh, of Padfoot Millers throughout the gener- throughout the years. There are about nine Padfoot Miller pictures. Um, and if it wasn't for like one slight... Definitely shrinking, except for the chin. Yes, the goiter grows as the size of the turkey shrinks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, culminating in the current Padfoot Miller, Padfoot Miller the 10th. Um, there is a, a couple of just patrons sort of meandering around. It looks like there are a trio of dogs who are just very sweaty, kind of knocking back some drinks off in the corner. They look like farmhands. Uh, there is a very, and I mean very busy elderly woman who seems to be like kind of flitting from place to place. Um, and then there is a single, uh, which looks like a very large and imposing kind of, uh, almost like a husky who is shirtless at the end of the bar and just sweating. Um, there's like a rifle sort of like underneath where his feet would be in the bar stool. And he's just like splayed out across the end of the bar, just panting. There is one piano, uh, which does look a little beat up. A couple keys are loose. Uh, no one is playing it. Um, and there's just this sort of quiet hum of people talking and people moving around and the occasional clink of glass. Uh, ben, that is also what you are treated to. We'll let Louise go first, uh, interact with some of these NPCs. Um, and then we'll let you do that. So, Louise, you're up. Are there any unattended drinks left on the bar? Uh, there are several unattended glasses, yes. Uh, although nothing... Well, let's figure that out. The glasses should be like dog bowls. There is one... <laughs> <laughs> There's a set of dog bowls, one of which is full of something. You're not sure what it is, but it's a dark sort of amber-colored liquid. I would like to grab on the way by, and I'm walking at quite a brisk pace, I would like to grab both the full dog bowl and an empty dog bowl, because of course the children did not manage to steal my uh, tip sign that is getting <coughs> that one. And I will saunter over to the piano, taking a large swig from the full dog bowl as I try the keys out to see just how out of tune it is. Uh, so um, I'm going to have you make a toot and roll right now. What you thought could have been nice old cheap whiskey is in fact dishwater. <laughs> Works for me. Clean on the inside. Excellent. There's a little bit of rub off alcohol in there anyway. You managed to sort of shrug it off with a grimace and a smile I and you make your way over to the keys. Gurgle, gurgle a little bit, blow out some soap bubbles. Gotta gotta limber up for the later performance. <laughs> gotta clean up. You gotta, you gotta do it. All right. Are you at the piano? Are you attempting to? I'm assuming 
uh, you're going to, you're going to try to be shooting those keys. Well, you, you know how when you first walk into an establishment that has a piano left unattended first, first, you just have to kind of meander around the keys to see where we are in both tune. And if in fact it is a functioning piano, well, that's, that's kind of what I'm doing here. Just testing it out to see how out of tune or in fact, how in tune it might be. Just it's, the tip. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's rough, but, but not, uh, not uh, totally useless, still serviceable. And I'm okay. realizing these innuendos still work for both pianos and other things. <laughs> well, I will, I will get a gauge of how out of tune it is and I will try to accommodate that. Um, and after testing out just a little bit, I will sit down, uh, clear my throat and begin to launch into rousing Western bar music. Before I have you make a shoot and roll for those keys, uh, is there, what song are you playing? The song is called. Sorry, I had looked. At this and why thing. is it "Gold Digger" by Kanye West featuring <laughs> Jamie Fox? Uh, it's the mashup because what else are you gonna play? Apparently, "Gold Digger." <laughs> she literally has the music up on her phone. All I could think of is like some of the banjos going. She gave me money <laughs> when I'm in the heat. just jamming out. Poor Ben. <laughs> it's like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> Why do I associate with these people? Why do awesome. I associate with these people? All right, while Louise is working out the saloon music on her phone, um, Ben, what are you doing in this tavern, this saloon? Well, the first thing I shall do is I will walk over to those three dogs. I think it's time I told them about some of my many stories, especially the ones about uh, my great-grandfather, who came over as uh, one of the Red Furs during the uh, Red Revolution? Yes, yes, I shall tell them about that. Excellent. Uh, make a toot and roll, sir. Oh, a toot and roll, we say. <laughs> that is a one, and I have a five for the stat. Oh, yeah. That you, uh, at first, the, uh, the assembled farmhands are like, who the heck is this guy? And why is he telling us about the Red Furs? Do we look like we like Red Furs? Uh, by the end of this, you have them all singing uh, over the hills and far away <laughs> uh, and other, uh, you know, marching songs to the glory of good old uh, King George, who I'm assuming in this world is a duck of some kind. Um, why? Yeah, feels like he'd be a mallard. Uh, are you going to do anything else now that you've got them on your side and also singing essentially land shanties? Uh I think I'll probably ask them about uh, the, that was it a possum uh, or weasel earlier? Uh, the, uh, that came and uh, stole my friend's stuff. Is uh, anything in there? Yeah, uh, absolutely. One of them looks good. they know about them? You, you mean those kids? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared of them kids. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Uh, li li listen, uh, He's like real shifty looking. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm afraid of kids, but, but there's like tw 20, 40 of them. And there's like w one of me oh, man. putting my, my, my daily pay in my shoes. So they can't take them. Um, real, real shame though. They used to be real nice kids used to sing, sing in church every Sunday and, and they'd help out at the soup kitchen. But now that old Agnes's orphanage is shutting down and well, there's just no place for them. I think some of the kids are bringing that money back to Agnes, but, Oh, she's so old, she don't know any better. A real shame, though. We used to get tons of tourists around these parts. Nah, they've been run out, run out of town on account of the weird whispers out in the hills. Weird whispers indeed. I'm sorry, I'm Clem. Uh, p p p pleasure to meet you. I do say, yes, it, it is a wonderful thing to meet you. Uh, now, these kids, these kids clearly need to be taught a lesson. Now, corporal punishment for children. It's not exactly something that you you guys have always accepted over here. But, you know, in England, <laughs> across, you know, <laughs> across the vastness of the open, well, it looks kind of green to me. I have trouble with colors, you know. And uh, color blind. All that, you know, it's just, yeah. Yeah, corporal punishment for kids. That, that's how we do it. I mean, my dad, my, my daddy used to hide me pretty good, but uh, 
I mean, he's dead now. I don't remember if we buried him or not. What were you saying about corporal punishment again? <laughs> well, I'd be, I'd be Bro, much. What happened to your dad? I'd be much obliged. We, we could probably t- t- take you to the orphanage during the day when it's safe. Uh, that that would be much appreciated. Yes, yes me, me and my uh, fine fellows over here. Uh, while this is happening, uh, Padfoot Miller has finally made his way to the steps of the saloon. He got, he looks up at, uh, at your character and he just goes, thank you. That sign was <laughs> bugging me. What's bugging you? The sign. Oh, oh, you. You're looking at Amy then. <laughs> Who am I looking at? Amy's the one who fixed the sign. Oh, the sign. Thank you. Cora? Cora? Thank you. <laughs> thank, 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 thank you. Thank you, Miss Tumbleweed. I, I appreciate it. Miss um, Tumbleweed. <laughs> thank you for holding the door. I'm, uh, I'm just going to find my way into this saloon. You know, it's rare that we get such nice folk around these parts. He extends his feather to help you down off of your tortoise, uh, Amy. Oh, you're, you're welcome. I am. My uh, pappy used to tell me that a woman can't find a handsome and she should at least find a handy. Can't say I've ever been handsome. But I'm fairly good at carpentry, sanding, fishing, tackle, tin work, and ivory sculpting. Well, you just sound like a drack of all trades, sir, and I appreciate it. Now let's be getting inside. Oh. Drack of all trades, huh? Sound just like my third wife. She's kind of like Bumble. <laughs> Third ex-wife, you mean? Oh no, no, no! Sadly, they passed on. Oh, now I, now I just feel ways. You're in there playing the piano. I am. I am. <laughs> she, she just <laughs> hears the sound of turkey heartbreak just from the inside. <laughs> uh, he gestures to an open table and 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 motions over to the elderly woman ter- uh, tending the bar. This is my fourth wife. Bethany, Hello. these are my new friends. She's like an owl. She looks like she's hopped up on like caffeine, but so she's just like kind of jitters. She doesn't really speak. <laughs> Pleasure to make your acquaintance, ma'am. She like hands you drinks. Like you didn't order any. She just gives you some. Oh, thank you, Monica. <laughs> what is it like? Dish soap. <laughs> she like, flaps off. Absolutely lovely, ma'am. And then as soon as she turns around, I'm going to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had foot Miller just kind of like slowly as he has his whole head into the glass. just kind of lapping it up. You know, <laughs> not much of a talker. Great listener. I talk too much, I think, sometimes. Fortunate to have someone like that in my life. Love the dynamic, super hyped up and jittery, slow, slow. <laughs> well, she likes that Turkish coffee. It's expensive to import it, especially on a sheriff's salary, but I love her dear. Got to get her what she likes. I like to think it kind of keeps her on her toes. At this point, you can see that she's like hovering above the bar, just trying to like <laughs> mop everything up. That's <laughs> my woman. Seems like my fine woman. Bad foot. The perfect barkeep. Head on a swivel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. We're ending the session here. Louise is one. That's it. That's the game. <laughs> I held the door. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect barkeep. Head on a swivel. <laughs> so what brings you all to Whistle Hill? We're here to help. <laughs> oh. well, that's that's mighty useful. And that kind of perks up a little bit and goes, well, that's nice music. I ain't had music like this in the saloon for years. Kind of makes me feel like dancing. That's Next correct. Next to Kylie Rose. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I, sent, I sent the uh, selection in the group chat there, but for those in listening land, it is Mexicali Rose. Excellent choice. <laughs> uh Well, we got plenty of things we might need help with in this town. What on account of the orphans that are running amok? 
and the tourists don't come anymore. Well, and our bank got done robbed of all its gold bullion. bullion. I dare say there's a great deal of problems here in Whistle Hill. Sadly, I can't seem to put my finger on it. At which point, a little kid runs in from the back, grabs something from behind the bar, dives under the barkeep, and then past your table, and clearly I past. Pa- them abso- the- absolutely. Uh, make a root and roll, please. I want to play a dramatic scene, no! like dun, 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 during this. <laughs> My rooting's a five, and I rolled a six. Uh, <laughs> uh, the little kid somersaults past you, uh, and is out the door, and then Padfoot just kind of goes. That's like he tries to grab it, but just two seconds too late. Can't. Can I try and take a shot at the kid as he's running out? Oh, sure. <laughs> no. Bartholomew, that's a child. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna roll that your stat is at a minus two for this, uh, because they're already out the door by the time that you turn. So you'd have to shoot through the little winding, the little those little opening slidey doors, whatever those are. I the think you're actually just called. So I roll the three and my stat's a five. So minus two, that still makes it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, we got to get these two in line with their big yeah. time stance. You're a little, ah. <laughs> Did you just shoot a child again, Bartholomew? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what can I say? Corporal punishment. Let's be honest, this is not the first time he has shot first and asked questions later. Or uh, never. At which wait, point, Amy, wait, a wait, dog wait, that you don't know... A dog that you don't know from the table that Bartholomew is sitting at just goes, yeah, yeah, corporal punishment's real good. He's head so and pumps his fist over at Bartholomew. <laughs> no, no, no. We are not starting that here, sir. I will knock that monocle off your face. Let's go find that kid and make sure they're okay. See, when the, when the shooting starts happening, I just transition from Mexicali Rose into I'm tired from blazing saddles. Just oh getting... Getting right along there. Uh, let them go to the <laughs> child as I'm just playing away. I have to agree. I think we shouldn't shoot any children. I draw the line at that. Under my watch, lots of bad things have happened. Robbery, adultery, tax fraud, train robbing, regular robbing, robbing people who rob other people, which makes it the Robin's Robin. 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 Yeah. Once it happened where it was a Robin who was robbing someone who had been robbed. Crazy. But I draw the line worry, sir. child murder. If I'm ever going to shoot again, I'll make sure I tell you to look away first so you don't see. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, Amy. Hey. Smack the back of Bartholomew's head as I go out to check on the child. Oh no, that was totally an accident. Uh, there's a cup of uh dishwater beer if you'd like to, to add that to the. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just dripping down the top hat. Oh, isn't that dry clean only? you gonna, you gonna drink that? He just kind of dips his head over and starts drinking whatever is pulled up in the brim. <laughs> um uh, oh. is anybody else going with ab to go inspect the okay so ike is there i'll join <laughs> uh louise are you are you are you gonna cease your your glorious now that's what i call western music 54 no no i gotta rouse the rest of the bar folk to get them reinvigorated and invested in town life so that they can assist us in running this gang of no good children out of town we're not running them out of town we're gonna help them we're gonna run these children right out of town i mean it could be a form of help (laughs) (laughs) you save the town in the process structure you just make a roving band of vagabond children who grow up with no laws and <laughs> living only by how well they can steal and kill. We create Neverland. We create... <laughs> no, I'm fairly sure that's how you create the Dutch Vanderlyn gang, but that's a, that's a different story. Oh, we're doing that next, right? Yes. <laughs> that's after this session. Good. good. Um, all right. 
Amy, Ike, you uh, walk out of the bar. You realize that uh, although Ben is a crack shot, Bartholomew is very good at shooting. Um, sadly, oh, there's a cat. Um, sadly, you failed to hit the child. That's not a sentence I ever thought I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, you did manage to shoot a hole in the money tin uh, really? and have it fall out onto the onto the um, street. Uh, you also notice that there is a tiny scrap of fabric that doesn't look like it belongs to the money tin at all, um, along with the rest of the belongings. Oh. I will pick up the money tin. <laughs> It is and in try fact. and gather its belonging. Yes, you you successfully. I'm gonna have you make a uh, a root and check for this one, or a shoot and check, whichever is higher, whichever you'd like. Oh, uh, shooting then. Shooting it is, <laughs> and uh, I succeeded. You speedily <laughs> shoot your hands all over to reclaim some of the bills and coins that have fallen among the street. What happens in a tie? Out of curiosity. Yeah, you hit it. It's your you have to hit your stat or lower to succeed in a dice roll. Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'll look at the piece of fabric. Is it something that's either from Krem or uh, Isaac? How do you say your character's name again? Luponda. Luponda. Um, <laughs> one of their uh, outfits, or is it something different? Uh, it is. I'm sorry. It is something that is not clearly part of the tins. It looks like it's been cobbled together. It looks almost looks like the scrap from like a pillowcase or maybe like a, a child's dress. Um, I'm gonna put it in my, one of my pockets. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's folded in half as well. By the way. Oh, can I like unfold it? Yeah, abs- absolutely. Yep. Uh, you see what looks like a rough map of the town uh, oh. with a couple of red circles. Um, you notice that the entryway to the town where you guys kind of rode through the main thoroughfare is one of those. Um, then there's the uh, saloon itself. And then another one, a general store has also been circled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'd like to mosey over to the general store. Isaac, you would like to join me. Perhaps we can um, attempt Lupa. to fix Lupanda. <laughs> Sounds right. mighty fine. <laughs> Uh, so meanwhile, Bartholomew and um, I forget. Oh my gosh, I have the list of character names. I'm not going to forget. I'm not going to forget. <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm going to look this up. I am a good game master. I swear. Oh my god, the Blazing Saddle soundtrack is the first thing that pops up in the group chat. <laughs> uh, Bartholomew and Krim, what are you doing? Uh, Bartholomew is probably moseying over to Krim uh, now. And is gonna uh, tell Krim about the uh, the the weird noises and sounds coming from the hills that the dogs were telling me about. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this conversation so that you know if there are any um, unsolicitous persons still in the bar that you know they're not overhearing this conversation um i switched to a strawberry roan which i have put in the group um <laughs> it, it, it's designed to depress further the already depressed bar folk to is that how you do dips depressing folks follow <laughs> <laughs> follow me wouldn't automatically catch on that she's trying to prevent other people from hearing so initially he starts trying to speak over the music even louder and louder until <laughs> Until he gets told, no, 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 stop it. I can hear you. We've talked about discretion. Oh, yes. Uh, Apologies. Never mind, everybody. Ignore what I was saying. Carry on about your business. Sad music continues. In the hills, you say. Close by, far off. Is it the children's base of operation? Did you get him? I've been playing the piano. I can't see over the open, uh, over the open lid cover. I, I heard the shot. I saw the door. I heard the yelp. Did you get him? I assume so. I don't care to check. I, I shoot. If they go down, awesome. If they don't, I'll shoot them later. Perfect. (laughs) Perhaps we should uh, fill the others in and maybe investigate this as their center of operation. I don't know. I'm. I'm kind of getting into it here with this piano. I'm, I'm loving. You supposed to let the, me take this with me. They did take my letters of credit. They owe me something. <laughs> I believe 
I believe that Japheth can probably drag this behind him. Japheth is the armadillo I've been riding. Well, if we need you, Jeffrey can assist. Ah, excellent. Just picturing both mounts outside of the saloon being like, the what? I'm pulling the what now? <laughs> Looks down, no wheels on the bottom of the piano. It's fine. Everything's fine. I mean, that's like, it's like the trade offer memes. You receive all of my unpaid debt. I receive a piano. An out of tune piano. It's not like I'm making away like a bandit like these children. I mean, what? We don't know these children are bandits. And I mean, I ride a tortoise. So even though I'm trying to get to the general store, I'm not that far away from this nonsense. I just turn around, see the piano, turn back around. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see it, don't have to deal with it. <laughs> okay, so, oh, sorry. Nope, continue. I was gonna say, I think, I think it's probably worth investigating though. Uh, perhaps some investment from the local residents would uh, make this go a little smoother. Don't want to be outnumbered by children yet again. I don't want to rediscuss the boardwalk in Jersey. I'm over it. It's fine, but we're never talking about it again. Understand? You're the one that keeps bringing it up. Shut up. <laughs> You're at the general store right now. You can't speak. So many corn dogs as I start missing notes as I'm playing. Did you been uh, Bartholomew? So many corn dogs. Um, all right, so Bartholomew, are you going to agree to this? I will let you both make a, a shooting check and a tooting check, uh, respectively, um, to help to recruit some of the uh, bar patrons to your side. I mean, I can always play a rousing, uh, a rousing tune on the old ivories to recruit them to our cause. If you are able to provide the uh, necessary speech that catapults them to our <laughs> common goal. Bartholomew stands to his full height, does the whole <laughs> I think and, and, like to show how big he is and all that. He I goes, think playing the very regal but slowed down ballroom version of uh, Hail to the Chief to kind of give him the ambiance that he needs. For too long have children been stealing things from you people. We must now rise up and kill the, I mean, <laughs> cap, uh, I'm not here. Punish. Punish. From the <laughs> Hold accountable. Hold accountable we will fight them on the wait no no <laughs> kill that speech what if we to if my we... american people <gasps> provide appropriate structure uh for their day uh, no 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 we're we're in america what if we take them to court <laughs> yeah the court <laughs> it's just clem <laughs> one dog <laughs> You Americans sue over everything. Why did I leave you guys alone? <laughs> Whiskey and dishwater is too warm. Replacement for free or I'm taking you to civil. Do we have ice in the world? What right now? Uh, I, I, I don't know about ice, but the, the very, very like just owl flies over and puts something in your dish. It's darker. And, and slightly <laughs> thicker than what you had. Oh, concentrated dish soap, my favorite drink. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to war with the children. It's going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't imagine how huge it's going to be for us. I know that you want to help have the children have rights, but you're wrong. <laughs> but this. I love you all so much. It just breaks me as a person. Um, all right, Ben, make your make your two. Follow me. We'll quickly order a drink as well of fizzy diluted dish soap. Ah, that excellent choice, sir. Fizzy diluted dish soap. I haven't opened it yet. I need adult juice to do Let me get the. <laughs> make your rolls. <laughs> Oh, is this your roll, babe? I already rolled a four, which is under my... Uh, yeah, oh, and I rolled another three, which is under my five. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> together, 
uh, you rouse the catatonic townsfolk into what amounts for a mob here in Whistle Hill, <laughs> uh, which is essentially Clem and his three friends. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, between the three of them, one of them has the handle to a sledgehammer without the head of the sledgehammer. One of them has a single action pistol with three bullets. The other one has a single barrel shotgun. We're not sure what's in it, to be completely honest, but judging from the rust on the under part of the gun, uh, who knows? Uh, And the other one being Clem has a bottle he just kind of picks a bottle up from the bar. <laughs> no, 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 Clem, you can do better. Attempts to pick up a chair and break it. Uh, mind you, my rootin' skill is one. Absolutely. Uh, I tink it on the floor. Ooh, what is this, mahogany? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to roll that a, a splinter of it goes off and flies into Clem's left eye. Oh, God. <laughs> Takes him a couple seconds to get the splinter out. He like takes like a piece of like his shirt and rips it off and like wraps it around his head. Do I look intimidating? I, I reach into my pack. Uh, ooh, fresh out of eye patches. Yes, super. Oh goody! I always thought losing an appendage would make me look scarier. Actually, if you're going to get cl- up close, you need something to protect yourself. He looks around the room real quick, sees a sign that recently got repaired outside, pulls it down. You'll need a shield. <laughs> I'm not that far away. I'm riding a tortoise. I can see you. You've already <laughs> said you put your blinders on. You're not paying attention to this. I can sense it. I'm People like, I'm like one of them old timey knights now. <laughs> Just like in them storybooks. Jousting with tortoises. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like that guy, Dan Quixote. Uh, that's his name. Oh, you mean old Donnie boy? Yeah, Donnie boy. I'm Don Quixote. Sometimes you hurt me right here. <laughs> if anybody hears that sound, that's the sound of Miguel de Cervantes just doing windmills in his grave. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming you guys are taking your uh, what passes for a mob. <laughs> Is anybody coming to the general store with Isaac me? is coming oh, to the I'm general store the with you. Piano so oh, that I can play drums. <laughs> Sorry, Lupanda is coming to the store. Lupanda the third. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, Sorry. I'll we'll <laughs> direct the mob to help us move the piano outside and mount it on four <laughs> notes. Uh, Instead of like a leader chair where they're carrying somebody, they're just, we've all got a leg of the piano. We're just, well, and every time we take a step, it's all out of sync and jarring. So the whole thing is just making like really <laughs> out, of, out of tune clanks. Somehow in E minor still, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the general store, um, uh, Lupondo the Third and Miss Tumbleweed have found their way there, uh, along with Padfoot Miller, who it, it, I'm not going to say that you carry him. He more like just kind of holds on to Ike's coattails and just Ike sort of pulls him. <laughs> You're like a Lupanda power jet ski. <laughs> um, can I warn in the patrons inside first, use some more rope to make a tripwire at the entrance to the store. So if a small child tries to run in or out, I can slow them down and catch their head so they don't get brain damage if they fall. Absolutely. <laughs> you know uh, there is no one in the general store except for a great Dane uh, who has a glass eye that he's kind of like rolling in between his knuckles and then occasionally just popping back into its socket. <laughs> okay, that is that good. Sir, after a deep investigation of picking up this map and seeing it circled in red. I think you might be the next one to be hit by the uh, gang of children. Uh, one, I have tied a trap at your door, just FYI. Two, can you teach me to do that? He like, he like when you said I'm, you're going to get robbed by these children, he has like two sawed off shotguns, one in each hand. <laughs> Did I mention it was children? Oh, right. Bird- one of the sawed off bird- shotguns. Bird- <laughs> <laughs> this town is just apparently just so sick of kids. <laughs> you uh, you, 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 you say you 
to the trap? Yeah, there's a rope. Don't go outside. You'll trip. All right. I guess I'll put it away. Luponda. <laughs> don't go outside. You'll trip. Sorry, I forgot. Luponda. That's a weird name. Yeah. Luponda the third. <laughs> Weird the name. Weird the name. Three of you that. Yes. It's a very distinct uh, The Great Dane stands up and and extends a hand to Luponda. My name is George. Hello, George. I talked to him first, and he shook the man's hand first. You told him to put his shotguns away. There is a hierarchy in the West. You never, never <laughs> tell a man to put his guns away. Uh, also, you're busy making the trap, so Isaac's character is technically closest to him. I often tell men that they're going away. Let's go. I forgot that you were a mail order bride for a couple seconds. <laughs> Listen, he died. We don't know why or how. Do you, but always, now I got a ranch do you now. always tell him to put it away, or do you wait to see if he's shooting blanks first? They're all shooting blanks at the end, honey. Check. Huh. Yeah. There are so many things that I want on t-shirts. They're all shooting blanks at the end, honey, is one of them. <laughs> George just kind of like looks at you a little bit. Nods. I, oh, okay. I thought he was offering another handshake. <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> and as for this, it's all in, the, all in the knuckle movement. The movement of one knuckle shifts the eye to the next. Momentum, I think is what they call that. This is what they call it in the military. He chuck he like flicks a wooden coin at you. You give it a try. It's all right. To be honest, my shooting is real low. This is not gonna go well. Do it. All right, roll it. You're gonna have to roll it. You're like, I'm doing this. He's he's there. Oh! Did you hit it? No, I succeeded. <laughs> he nods. Time, low help. <laughs> he he nods. He's like, yeah, technique's a little sloppy, but you got some talent. All right. Tell me why are these kids robbing me again? I found a map. They already robbed a friend of ours, or a couple friends of ours, including LuPont at the beginning. We just saw them rob the saloons. We figured they were coming here next. Yeah, it's a big red circle. Uh, as if on cue, the, you hear the back door open. George reaches for the shotgun, then kind of looks at you, and is like, all right. He, like, slides the money tin close to where the, like, the back door is. Just kind of gives you a little nod. The trap's at the front door. I know. So the kid runs through the back door, grabs the money, goes towards the front door to escape, and eats it on the rope. <laughs> George, <laughs> corporal punishment. I did see Ben's face. It's like, corporal punishment. <laughs> George looks at you and just goes, for once, I'm glad we didn't use shotguns. <laughs> Not a saying he uses often. Can I go, like, um, inspect the child? Knock the money away, but I'm going to, like, scruff the kid. Yes. Well, uh, you need, we're in the West. You need to hog tie him. This is, this is it's the way a you, child. You, you, he's already squirmy. You got to make sure he can't get away. You know what the scruff response is? Yes, I do. Hog tie him. Sorry, I'm running out of rope. Brad. Use the trap rope. I, uh, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and just say the desks and dorks does not support hurting children. <laughs> Nor do I. <laughs> I don't think any of us do, unless we've been running Giant King of Tokyo for a very long time. Fictional children who have no actual feelings are different than real personal children. Like, can we agree that. I don't. I feel less bad when they're not real. They're entirely in my head. So that's true. Are you? Uh, you pick up it, the child by the scruff of its neck, and it is in fact that possum from earlier. Does he play dead? <laughs> he does. <laughs> oh goodness! He's like just hanging there, limp in your hand. He looks like he's four, by the way. Oh, want to feed him cookies. I will offer him a cookie. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you, do you, there are cookies. I'm still going to scruff. Like, 
I like whiffed it under his <laughs> under his nose because he's playing dead. You, you see, like the nose twitch just a little bit, and then one eye opens, and she goes. <laughs> and then, oh, I, love I was gonna say it's like Top smelling down. salts. You just break the cookie open and wave it under his nose. <laughs> yeah, he just like oh, and eats the cookie. And he's back to playing dead. Contrary to my uh acquaintances i'm not gonna hurt you but we have to talk so stop faking it he opens one eye you got more cookie yeah we got more oh. cookies but if you run and i have to chase you i'm gonna be upset he opens up both eyes and kind of nods cookie stay for cookies okay <laughs> i like cookie <laughs> I looked at Lupanda and make sure he does have cookies and it didn't just lie to this child. Uh, Lupanda's out of cookies, at which point George reaches under the bar and then produces a tin of cookies that just kind of to Lupanda. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Keep all the important stuff under the counter. Set the child down like... Okay. He kind of like, he kind of just like, he, you can tell he's trying not to get excited about the head pats, but like he's getting excited about the head pats. like, <laughs> okay, kiddo. What's your name? Tom. Tom. Can I have cookie? You give him a cookie. Sure. <laughs> My name's Cora. And we're, Hi. we're trying to figure out what's going on in this town. And I was wondering if you knew about the whispers in the hills or anything else. Hills bad. You know, we don't go to the hills. Nobody goes to the hills. Don't go to the hills. Mm -mm. Hills scary. You know mm -mm. Just big scary. Big That's scary. what the bigger kids say. Big scary. Don't go to hills. Okay. Anybody gone to the hills? Because, you know, we don't always follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens? I'm not, I'm not supposed to tell. What about if we give you two cookies? Two. Two cookies? Looking at LaPonda like yeah. two. <laughs> two cookie. Two cookie. Well you gotta tell us first. Um, two cookie now. <laughs> now another cookie after you tell us. And then we're gonna get you some vegetables or something, because this can't be good. Bleh. <laughs> Deal. Workout. He like hands he like up he extends both hands. Like he's like he thinks that's how you shake hands. He, nope. He just as soon as you go, try to grab both, he like puts both hands around your hand and just does this. <laughs> cookie. I love him. I give him a cookie. <laughs> Her name is Rebecca. She went out to the hills. I don't know when she went. It was a while ago. And they told us not to go, but Rebecca said that we're just a bunch of scaredy cats. But I'm not a cat. I'm a possum. See? He, like, kind of just, like, does a little thing where he, like, twirls around in a circle to let you see that he's a fully, po a, fully a possum. 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 You're a very cute possum. Thank you. She's been <laughs> gone for a couple of days. I don't know what happened. Uh, well, what does... Shoot, what's the orphanage lady's name? Uh, Agnes. Agnes. What does Agnes say about Rebecca not coming back? We put a doll in a rocking chair and then sat it next to Agnes, and she thinks it's Rebecca. Oh, she should not be in charge of children. Oh, my God. Like <gasps> this, Agnes. Okay. Well, y'all are very smart. Thank you. Second cookie? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Second cookie. Do y'all have enough to eat up there? Are you doing okay? Okay. I'm gonna do give you want, all the do you want money? Do you want money box back? Who George box? George looks at him and just kind of goes. <sighs> and then she gets like two big bags of food. He's like, I'll come with you. <laughs> Um, okay, what if we go talk to Agnes for a little bit? Because I think these these whispering hills might be part of the problem for this town. We could be fixing. Agnes not in charge. Who's in charge? Tell you for one cookie. 
อีซี่ขาวสกิสจะเกิดบิ๊กเดลี่ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้ขอให้
we didn't um, indicate that he's coming back. There was just a lot of noise around where he was. And we do have a mail order bride, so it must be a little Bolshevik. Continue. Yes. Uh, I got married. He died. We're good now. I own a ranch, bitch. Right. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Kyle. That's, okay, that's we, have, we have we have, I guess we I guess we're now operating under a one curse word uh, uh, allowance per diem. <laughs> earlier, you might need to. There may need yeah. to be some editing. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might have to send this to the to the sweatshops to be edited, or, or the, <laughs> the desks and dorks um, editing minds. <laughs> um, all right, you guys managed to get yourself there. Um, I'm going to have you make a let's do a rootin check or a tootin check, either one uh, for hey, Louise. Uh, oh, the rest Louise. of y'all are uh, on your way to the orphanage. Clearly, because yeah. I am good at talking myself up and talking everybody up to my level, rooting not so much. I mean, I would have been fine either way, but we did the tooting route. So. So. Success. Uh, you have successfully, uh, you, you, by speaking and being able to speak so well, you know when there's some sounds that are a little bit off. So you're ready when uh, a group of masked figures, they look like grim reapers, emerge from the tree line and start to pour gunfire onto you guys. By Jove, I say, good chap. We're in a bit of a sticky wicket. I'm going to pretend to be Bartholomew. Don't tell Ben. <laughs> Hoping the sticky wicket would make an appearance, but I really need you to show Ben the recording of you doing Oh, he'll see. Oh, he'll see it. He'll see it later. <laughs> to industry. Well, that's what we brought the piano along for. Tip it up like a wooden barricade and everybody takes shelter behind it. My tortoise just brings all of his limbs into the You're not with shelter. us. We're going I'm to the hills. You're going to the orphanage. We're all going to the orphanage. No, we're going to the hills. We are out in the badlands, mm -hmm. meeting the bad and seeing the lands. Uh, all right. So I'm going to have you guys make uh, shooting checks to see if you can dodge behind the bullets or dodge past the bullets. I have successfully made my shooting check at a three. I am going to roll for Bartholomew. Ooh, I have I also successfully I dived underneath the bullets. Uh, How goes? Oh, again, just tip it up. They're shooting right into it. The combination of the ivory wood strings, everything just splinters those bullets for blink, us. Blink, 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 blink. This be a good new sound i should write this down and i'm trying to, i'm trying to transcribe music as i'm hearing it but you know transcribing jazz and scat doesn't work but i'm doing it <laughs> this is the or i'd like to think that this is the origins of dubstep um <laughs> Possibly. I, I think you do have to do that interim step of like scat based jazz before you can get to that on the scat bear do -do 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 -do. okay i'm never gonna do that again <laughs> Speaking of the need for editing. Feed uh, a pineapple. All right, Ben's <laughs> back. Yay, hey. Ben. You're we getting shot at. We took shelter behind a piano. We're fine. Yes, you guys are getting shot at. <laughs> it's exactly where we took it along. How bulletproof is a piano? Uh, not very, and it's really starting to get perforated into like it's something cool. resembling Swiss cheese. My best cavity. Um. So you guys are being ambushed, Ben. You guys made it to the foothills. There are figures dressed like Grim Reapers that are shooting at you uh, with long rifles. So uh, hopefully, I'm hoping you guys will return fire. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All Does right, make sure. The husky that had the rifle from earlier. Sorry, you I'm not cannot tell. They're all just dressed like this. I know it's killer to not be a part of the scene. <laughs> I love that first playthrough of this with Kyle. We immediately split the party. Duh. Yep, we're really good at this. We're really good. <laughs> you know what? It is totally okay because that has happened many, many times, and we just we didn't roll mean with it. to. <laughs> when we were playtesting with your brother, we were excellent about staying together the whole time. I'll be Most honest. You let us have a fan boat, but that's beside the point. At, I mean, at this point, which is ironic because I think the first game of After the Rain had a fan boat involved in it. <laughs> so it stands to reason uh but in any case so um how all right so you're returning fire i'll make shooting checks shooting checks for you ben yep that was a two and i have five for shooting so i'm good am i the only one that's failed 
I think thus far you are the only one that failed. No, we fa- I failed my rooting check at the very beginning. I, Isaac and I are on a team. To, uh, <laughs> well, while he's returning fire, am I able to um, touch base with the locals? I don't exactly know what uh, what they what their profession is, but you know, maybe maybe if they are miners, they have dynamite or cattle hands. They have sidearms themselves and kind of rouse them into you know. Yeah, you can do that. Make it make a tootin' check. Ooh, make it. Uh, the the farm hands are both all making shooting checks. One of them, the one with the rusted shotgun, like it looks like it's gonna do well, and then mid shot, the bottom just falls out. So there's like shotgun. It just it just basically implodes. Um, <laughs> the one the one with the single action one manages to plink off some shots. Uh, ironically enough, Clem sprints uphill into the gunfire, holding the general store sign. <laughs> More power to you, Clem. I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> he he gets shot at, falls, throws the bottle, and it actually wings a guy in the head. <laughs> uh, the rest of the guys just being shocked because they blinked and like one of their guys is down, start to make a break for it. Uh, all right, Ben, you're up next. What is Bartholomew doing? Uh, he, Bartholomew, is, uh, is going to get into, he's in an American, he's in a Western shootout right now, and he's all in. So, yee-haw, Channel charge, and, he, <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he's, he's going to keep shooting, and he's going to run uphill. <laughs> all right, make your shooting checks. That is a three, and I have once again a five for shooting. Yeah, you got it. Uh, you managed to wing another one. They kind of get gelded in the leg, but they're still running off. Uh, you managed to figure things out. You run through all of it. Uh, but luckily, you guys make it to the tree line. You're okay. Everything looks like it's all right. Uh, the rest of them have abandoned their, their fallen comrade. Clem kind of like sticks his head up. I do it. I did it. I'm a real knight like Donicky. Donicky, <laughs> be proud of you, son. Go get your fallen prize. Oh, look at that. The guy's got a Remington repeating rifle. Who <laughs> boy is my Excalib- Excalibur. That's the sword, right? The sword that guy pulled out of the big rock. Yeah, you can call it Excalibur. Yeah, and he had a wizard with him, too. His name was Marlin. Marlin the wizard. Weird Marlin that, the wizard. Weird that a fish knows how to cast magic, but I ain't questioning it. <laughs> Look at here, boys. I'm a regular old Donnakey. Uh, well, he is um, cherishing his newfound firearm. Uh, I, I'd like to go prod the, the fella what, with the head wound. <coughs> prod. prod. Prod the fella. You know, with the toe of my steel-toed boot. Uh, you prod yeah, him in the ribs what repeatedly till he turns over. Yep. To talk to or coughs up blood. One of yep. the two. You prod him. Uh, it rules over, and it is in fact not the husky from earlier, but a husky. Uh, and you realize now, perhaps, why that he is so sweaty. He is wearing a full cape and cowl. It is summer, and he's a husky. Still toed boots weren't invented until nineteen thirty. It's fine. She just jammed scrap metal into the base of it. Hey, boss, turns to Bartholomew. Let's shave him. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll kill you. Kill a dog if you shave him. He'll over here. I have a bet. I have a better idea. <laughs> Takes a gun out, puts it to the dog's head. <laughs> <laughs> you guys good with this? I mean, maybe see if he knows where they're rendezvousing first, but I mean. You clearly <laughs> forgot the last step. <laughs> I'm not there to oh, disagree. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is your what is your inevitable plan for this poor husky? I'm going to 
find out where their base of operation is in these hills. Yeah, we're going to smack him awake. What uh, traps are on the way? Uh, <laughs> all right. While you guys are doing that, uh, we're going to jump back to the episode of the Orphanage. <laughs> 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 that's our transitions <laughs> uh all right well uh with tom's help you're able to find your way up to the orphanage no problem uh tom despite the fact that he's for all intents and purposes your captive is having a great time he's kind of doing this do 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 boo, boo. i let him steer the tortoise because let's be honest that tortoise is can't get into it too much trouble. Tortle. 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 T-O-R-T-L-E. Tortle. <laughs> yeah, Tortle. Yeah. <laughs> there. Hmm? Tortle, spell right. Ah. Uh. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to be honest with you. Writing's not my thing, but I think you were pretty close. <laughs> George is with you, and George is riding on like a full blown emu. Yes. He just kind of pats Tom on the head. You're let her off, son. It's not an <laughs> O in turtle. It's a turtle. It's a U. Turtle. <laughs> that funny. Turtle. Turt, turt, turt. He's like kind of like rocking back and forth holding on to the turtle's neck. <laughs> turt the turtle. Turtle. I mean, we can change his name. He's not too attached to it. If you want to name him Turt the Turtle, I'm cool. <laughs> turt the turtle. Turt the turtle. Turt the turtle. <laughs> he flops back down so he's sitting on the turtle. Turt the turtle's my friend. Uh, I'm very attached to this tiny possum child right now. I need y'all to know that. <laughs> um, Shoot him again, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I will use kindness to kill you in this game. We help the town by adopting all the children. <laughs> I'm the new Agnes. <laughs> I, got, I got shit for them to do. That's, sorry, you you? It's okay, you used Louise's. <laughs> I used mine. Oh, never mind. You used Ike's, I guess. I don't swear anyway. It's cool. that doesn't... <laughs> a reminder. It's Friday. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, it's okay. I'll I'll make somebody edit this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you approach the uh, the entrance to the orphanage, and you realize now, as you kind of come into view, that all of the orphans come out, and they're all packing heat. Respect. Uh, orphans are packing heat. Oh yeah, <laughs> they got they're gunned up, man. Every kid, even the, you got kids who are not much bigger than the handguns they're holding, pointing the handguns at you. I mean, it might fire one bullet before it knocks them over, but like y'all are gonna be Swiss cheese if you try anything funny. Tom kind of hangs off. Tom, Tom hangs off the turtle and just goes, "Hi, everybody! This turt the turtle. He's my new friend." Uh, turt is a hundred percent gonna go. Wait, tortoises can't go all the way in, can they? No, nope. it's a cartoon. Do it. It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. It is a cartoon. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Question the equity of this game if the tortoise. All of my first. <laughs> and I'm gonna like get in front of Tom. Like I'm pretty sure they're not gonna shoot him, but like there's a lot of guns pointed and you know gun safety. You don't. George him. has both sawed-offs up and ready, and he goes, "Dang it!" Just drop it. Just <laughs> slowly holsters them. Uh, <laughs> We're just here to bring Tom back and to figure out what's going on in the hills so we can take care of that trouble for you. Hi, buddy. I'm back. <laughs> Tom, go share cookies with your friends. Oh, cookies. He grabs the cookies <laughs> and, and like just kind of scampers off. He's stopped. Uh, the crowd parts like a red sea, not for Tom and his cookies, but for this little raccoon in a little gingham dress and a blue bonnet who kind of looks at you with both hands on her hips and just goes, son of a... Uh, at which point we'll cut to the interior of the orphanage. <laughs> so I can't use up any more of my swearing allotments. Son of a biscuit! Uh, <laughs> little lit liquor. Uh, there it is. Liquor. They bring you into a uh, basically a sitting room, a drawing room, uh, with a very nice china set already set up. There is the raccoon who is sitting at the head of the table. 
uh, a mob of armed guards being armed children. Agnes, <laughs> who is just sitting next to her and just rocking back and forth very contentedly. And then Tom, whose little legs are dangling far above the floor where the chair is. I mean, Tom also probably has the giant tin of cookies George gave him on his lap. Like, yes. Like, yep. George is sitting next to Tom too, just like occasionally making sure to like sneak in a vegetable. <laughs> um, uh, the raccoon looks at you. What brings it to my orphanage? My name's S. Hi, Sandy. Don't call me that. <laughs> I see you brought the little narc, little spy, little traitor, selling out your own kin for cookies. Oh, I didn't sell anything. Tortured him for information that wasn't his fault? He was just a long time. They fed me cookies. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like he got tortured real bad. <laughs> I mean, look at his face. What did you expect? We had to give him cookies. It's going to have a mean tummy ache later. <laughs> that one's on us. She looks <laughs> nice. Darn chubby cheeks get you every time. <laughs> what can I do for y'all since you decided to ride up all here? She nods at the... Name. What's up? We don't have a group name. What's our group name? What's our posse name? Oh. Uh... <laughs> The Rootin' Tootin' Five. <laughs> There's four of us. <laughs> is this like fa- is this like Fast Five where it's all about family in the end? <laughs> there, there were five. Rest. <laughs> we don't talk about what happened in Sacramento. We don't. Oh my goodness, you're not there. Go away. Um. Yeah. So we're the Rootin' Tootin' Five. There's four of us. There's orphans. They can't count. You're very distracting. And I haven't had my afternoon meds. Um, ADHD. Uh, I lost it. You got to go live on. <laughs> we're the Rootin' Tootin' Five. And we're here to help the town. And we're, uh, we were going to investigate the, the hills. Uh, the place that uh, we were told not to go to. As soon and, as the, uh, you mentioned the hills, the orphans start to like whisper to themselves, like, <laughs> what's going on? You're going to the hills. My we were going to. We were going to. Keep talking. So we were going to. <laughs> headed that way. We wanted to get some information before we headed over to try and help out. Look, I don't know what's in them hills. Town's tourism dried up thanks to whatever's in them hills. And with it, all the money we was getting from Agnes is now we're resorting to stealing like common thieves to make sure we got food in our belly. Can't even afford Agnes's medication anymore. I like to toss pancakes into the ceiling. That's where you make art, children, in the canals. Well, I was going to ask if she was okay, but it is clear that she is... Absolutely wonderful, Agnes. You have a lovely afternoon. What are you talking about? She's not wonderful. She is crazier than a loon, and I know several loons. Okay, Sandy. Come over here. She can't hear you. Agnes, pigs are coming to take over the world. Ooh, and I will spin a wooden top onto the carousel, and it will sing the sweet songs of molasses. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so we just need to know anything you know about the hills. We know that some of you have tried to go there. My Um, cool sister Rebecca did. Yeah, when was that? Tom was a little iffy on the timeline. Three days ago. Without the tourism coming in, we can't make any money. And we were just hopeful that, I don't know, I think Rebecca was just trying real hard to figure something out. I don't know I, what's there. I 100% have like a little knitted red panda coin purse and some like rations. And I'm just going to be like, give them all my rations. See, give them my you, money. Be like, listen, get food. We're going to go worry about the hills. 
but any details you can think of, even if it's real small, we'd appreciate before we head out. Well, See? all I know is that dozens and dozens of folk have been going missing out there. And ain't nobody wants to go down there no more. I think there's some sort of danger, but I didn't want to send out people. I don't want to send out Rebecca. Listen, I have the strap tail to blend in. We will make it work. We just want to make sure that this town is okay before we move on. All right. She looks at you guys. She nods to the orphans and she goes, well, if you're going, I best go get my fool sister back too. <laughs> uh, you guys. The Sandy look. Uh, Sandy looks like she's 10. Watch us. You're and you're old in the Wild West. They're pretty capable. Out there. <laughs> she looks at you. Nobody's taking a child, you fool. I'm bringing you. If anything, the child's taking you. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's very fair. George kind of looks. I kind of like her. <laughs> Legit. Okay. Water skins, rations, everything for the kiddos. Lock the doors. Don't steal stuff as long as you have food. <laughs> Don't steal stuff. George drops off the food. There remains a skeleton guard uh, at the orphanage. But like, I mean, they squat up. There's about like 20 orphans with you guys and guns. (laughs) Do we, are we orphan gang go (laughs) somewhat quietly? Sandy looks, I mean, if you want to go stealthy, we got an old wagon in the back. We can just hide in it. We're real small. I love these children. I will adopt all. <laughs> George looks at you and then looks at Lupin and then just kind of goes, shotgun time. Shotgun time. Let's grab. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the foothills, uh, our, our good friends Bartholomew uh, and Carm are still uh, still are in the, media, uh, the middle of interrogating the husky. I won't tell you nothing. Nothing. Put puts finger on cut. Ow. 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 (laughs) No. Look, I don't even want to start robbing people. It wasn't even my fool idea. Whose fool idea was it? Oh, it's the gang leaders. It's Buster's. It's always Buster's idea with his bright highfalutin thoughts and some book reading. And what exactly did Buster promise you to get you all roped into this? We were going to stay here till it was winter and then rob all the high fancy highfalutin folk that came to ski in the resort. And did you happen to stop to think that if you're robbing all the people now, then the high fancy people coming for the resort ain't going to come for the resort? Well, I sure as darn it thought that and so did the rest of the gang. But Buster wanted it now. Buster always wants it now. That's what I get for teaming up with no good mouth-breathing city folk husky. As opposed to... Regular husky. Born and bred in the mountains. I don't want to be here. I'm sweating to death. Listen, I'll sell, a, I'll sell them out. I'll give you a map. You just, you just, I'll, just untie me. Get me out of here. No, 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 no. Map, map first. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. Look, Buster might be a good-for-nothing cheese brain, but I, I am not. And I have your word as someone who uh, shot at me first that you are not a good-for-nothing cheese brain. I mean, with respect, wouldn't you shoot first, too? Have you seen a bunch of yogurt? At this point, I pull my gun and I shoot right next to his head. (laughs) I was just about to... Bartholomew! See? See? He's he's shooting. He's a little rattled. (laughs) Listen. Come on, man. They got traps. And there's at least 15 of them. 15 fully armed outlaws. Desperados. I mean, what are you going to do? How are you going to be able to beat them? There's just... What? three of you and you realize that all the other dogs have run away except for Clem who is just standing there with the shield and the rifle I, I will have you know sir but there are many tales many tales about all these 
major things happened in the East and the West. And I tell you what, I've heard all of them. I mean, good for you. But at this point, uh, the the cart rolls up with George and Tom on the tortoise and the rest of you guys kind of link up together again. <laughs> that seems more promising than... Bartholomew, if you shoot these children, I shoot your butt. Uh, at, <laughs> at which point, a bunch of children poke their head out of the wagon. Sandy is, like, in the center of them. She, like, extends a little raccoon paw, just kind of looks and goes. And they all, like, <laughs> sink beneath. I, I lean down. I lean down to the husky we've got uh, detained here. We got force. You're still going to need a map. Also... I, I don't want to shoot at kids. Did the did you say that the the, the panda with the top hat shoots at kids? This this gent? Yeah. Oh, he, oh, he has no morals or qualms. Map first, and I personally guarantee that I will stand between you and any bullet coming from the gentleman with the top hat. He draws you half of a map very quickly. Other half later. How much later? Untie me. Mm-hmm. And I'll write it and I'll throw it. Um, if we haven't done so already, I take the firearm he's using and tuck it into my belt. <laughs> From the second I untie you, our deal extends exactly 60 seconds. You finish that map and I stand between you and a guaranteed bullet. After that, you're on your own. You got it. 60 seconds. I'm a fast drawer. Untie. He like runs and draws, scribbles a password on it and chucks it behind him and then is into the tree line before you can even blink. <laughs> Map looks legit though. Tur- turns around. Uh, Bartholomew looks- will oh, I was gonna say Bartholomew will just shoot into the sky overhead to try and scare him. <laughs> uh, turns around with the group. It's amazing how many times that works. <laughs> George just kind of looks at you, looks at the children, does a big sigh, and he just goes, I'm surrounded by sociopaths, I think. Just an army of you and us, armed <laughs> sociopaths. <laughs> Excuse me, good sir. I am not a sociopath. I was tested. Were you? I mean, under the age of 18. Turns and looks at George. I think you have the best read on the whole room. I was over 18 months. Yeah, there were pandas, remember? <laughs> I love it. That's so good. <laughs> um, following the map, you guys managed to find your way past uh, the woods into an old quarry, uh, which waiting for you is sure enough about 14 now heavily armored huskies, including the leader, which was that sweaty husky from the bar. Wait, is there like a bottleneck to the quarry that we could get some higher ground and like push rocks down on people? Uh, Like just go straight in? You could, but it looks like um, the ground up there is fairly treacherous. So you might need somebody who is either really nimble or doesn't mind risking their life or doesn't weigh a lot. I mean, we have a bunch of children. And I'm all of those things. Uh, oh, oh, well, are you sending a panda or are you sending a child? Panda. Throw, like, throwing bo- boulders in a specific order is kind of like playing a, a sonata by that, uh, what's his name? Wolfgang. Wolfgang. Beethoven. 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 Yeah. <laughs> that Beethoven feller. Beethoven feller. Yeah. <laughs> take, take a couple of the nimble children. <laughs> Child army. Okay. S looks at you. Do you not listen to her besides instructions, but like life values don't take anything, anything from her. Anything. The, the raccoon looks at you and is just like, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. All right. So, um, you managed. Okay, uh, make a make a shooting check. Me? Yeah, make a shooting check. Uh, no, no, did not get it. 
Uh, your cleverly constructed ambush fails uh, when <laughs> Karn literally falls unceremoniously uh, onto the ground. You're going to be stunned for this first round of combat. S, on the other hand, uh, and you realize Tom scampering up behind her. Both of them have made it up. Uh, the Huskies don't see them. Well, well, well. Uh, this one Husky has like, it looks like a Gatling gun, basically. <laughs> that they like ripped up from like the like an actual like mounted Gatling gun. He just goes, looks like we've got ourselves a little chicken shoot. Boss, they ain't chickens. There's a smaller husky next to them. What do you find folks doing here? Seems a crap place to die. George looks at you guys. Are we going to say something to him or we just start shooting? I mean, your ugly mug is definitely the last thing I want to see on my way out of this plane of existence, but we have a problem. Uh, at which point he goes, my ugly what now? I can't believe it. And just starts, and George is just like, so we're starting shooting. All right, fine enough. I'm going to uh, run and try and rugby tackle the one that seems like they're in charge. Like, hit low, hold on. <laughs> okay, the one with the Gatling gun? All right. Uh, I'm going to have you make either a, a rootin' check or a be kind check. Uh, I'm going to rule that you can be kind to the ground and move faster. No one has tried to be kind at all this game, which is really funny. I mean, I no. fixed this. <laughs> and I, some <laughs> I mean, you have been kind by, um, I mean, role playing. So I'll take it. Uh, I did rooting for this, and I succeeded. Uh, you managed to tackle him, which knocks the Gatling gun not out of his hands, but he's like, "Get off me, confound it!" Uh, what is Lou Pando the Third doing? Oh, Isaac, you're muted, buddy. Yes, you are muted. How, I, you have to unmute yourself. Otherwise, you, you, you can't speak words. Ah, well, it's just, I thought you had to unmute me. Because no. Because you're the one to mute me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going uh, to start blasting. I got, I got, I got guns. <laughs> I pull out my uh, ridiculously long revolver with the long gun. Thing. I don't know my gun. Yeah, yeah, I know, know that. Long, uh, a long, a nice long barrel. <laughs> Absolutely. And just start going at it. <laughs> there's a time to be kind, and there's a kind of time to shoot. Oh my god! I rolled a three, and I'm just going. I'm just going. You managed to wing another one of the huskies. Uh, all right, what is Bartholomew doing? Bartholomew's putting away his pistol and taking out his hunting rifle from, but not, not. Not like a mom like nice rifle. I mean like skeet shooting. Is it and lever like, action? And he just stands in the corner. Everything's goes, lever action. Pull. And he doesn't look. He just shoots. Just roll. <laughs> That's cocked. That's a five and I have a five. All right. Well, so part of your scatter shot goes nowhere and part of it goes into the thigh of a husky. <laughs> uh, at which point George is just like uh, who are you people honestly <laughs> George however is shooting at both barrels and gets four of them I might marry George and adopt all these children it's a toss up it's okay that's how the band of five went to three simultaneously no we went back up to five from four and then plus 20 kids no no you ain't traveling <laughs> I mean, even if we assume that each child marauder is a fraction of a per of a character, like you've got at least five characters there. There's like 20 kids in that wagon. I Speaking of, of horses, they can ride the torch. I'm not. I'm not saying is how they count for. It could just be called the Root and Toot and Orphans. Traveling Orphanarium. Okay. Uh, <laughs> collect them all. They're like Okie Mans. Yeah. <laughs> I want the Charmander plan. <laughs> <laughs> war turtle we put the war in war turtle yeah <laughs> there's my t-shirt quote for the night <laughs> uh at which point speaking of that wagon uh the conestoga cover part of it immediately falls over revealing it is just bristling with children with weapons <laughs> just gonna roll this like a bunch of times 
<laughs> you gotta have dice goblet amount of d6s and just roll. Uh, about nine of these shots hit. That's pretty good odds. <laughs> Uh, at which point you hear a little voice just go, Look out below. Uh, and S and Tom have managed to lo- dislodge a boulder from the top of the quarry. Uh, and it's careening straight towards uh, Miss Tumbleweed and the, the gang leader. I could try and roll away. You can roll whatever you'd like if you'd like to be uh, justify it. You can even justify a being kind if you attempt to talk to the boulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I know good. why you try to crush people, Boulder. It's because somebody crushed you once on the inside. <laughs> Fudge. See what I did there. I, I failed. Know. This is this is for the viewers at home. A <laughs> six. I would like to point out that I have rolled the most sixes on this D6 ever <laughs> in where I need to roll low. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not the time. My <laughs> elder blasts are all ones. And this. Shockingly enough, I made a game where you have to roll poorly, and I'm horrible at dice rolling usually. What? What? Did I get sick of losing every game I've ever made? Okay, but I also played uh, Call of Cthulhu and started rolling high, so I think the dice are just messing with me at this point. Uh, all right, George is going to attempt to save you. Or actually, I'm sorry, this is a perfect time for Karn to try and save you because it's their turn. Oh, I didn't make it up. The, I didn't make it up the hill, did I? Nope, you fell back down, so, which is great. You actually wound up being in a great place to save your friend. Well, well uh, as I, I'm, I, I'd like to think I made it partway up the hill and then I tripped on a loose rock. And so I've been careening down the hill the whole time. So I would like to continue the careen and just like, you know, cartoon level, take out Ms. Tumbleweed over here and knock her out of the way of the boulder as I just, you know, comically take her out. Do it. Rolling down the hill. Do uh, it. I'll give you a plus one. Is, is really... that, uh, what is that skill? Good lord. Uh, I will say it is a be uh, kind skill. Uh, be kind to the laws of cartoon logic. I got a plus, I got a plus one. So oh, okay, I we're it. good. I make it. The woman advocating for child attacks and torture succeeds the most important check on a be kind roll. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> hey. Being kind to cartoon logics has helped me out my entire real person life. That's so, fair. Cartoon physics, best physics. Uh, I mean, obviously. Uh, you do manage to uh, careen down the hill, saving Miss Tumbleweed from the oncoming boulder, uh, at which point you also manage to kind of kick the other guy into the boulder, um, <laughs> thus wrapping up what I thought was going to be a much longer combat in one round. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Welcome I can, to roll I play. Laying lay on the ground, dust blowing <laughs> over me. Did I do it? Did it? Did I sell out the show, Ma? Oh, darling, you sold out the whole tour. Uh, <laughs> at which point, um, we're going to do just a little sunsetting thing. I'm assuming. Uh, so, what do you guys want to do now that you've got uh, every one of these huskies is either wounded, captured, or semi crushed? Only semi crush. They're gonna like listen to this newfangled thing called a PowerPoint about Ooh. other options for them besides crime, and we're gonna work on helping them rehabilitate by helping them take care of the orphans and set up some good like housing and social welfare options in the town to help everybody. It'll be great. Uh, George is just like. I suppose I can let people work off their jail sentences at the general store. Mm-hmm. Okay. Making good drainage for latrines for public health. <laughs> this is very ambitious. <laughs> Listen, we don't fix the town. We help them fix their own problems. So once we leave, they're still able to do that. All right, I will. I will allow for one final be kind roll from Amy's character before we we sunset. We ride off into the sunset. <laughs> Uh, I succeed by four. There it is. The there last is. success. Uh, your ambitious but well-planned social programs uh, <laughs> help to forever change Whistle Hill. Um, 
She's doing that, and I'm teaching the orphans how to grift playing piano and other musical instruments with all the tourists that if are going to coming back. Don't see it, I don't care. I would <laughs> imagine that S is probably like your apprentice at this point. Like she just <laughs> worships at your feet. One hundred percent. I'm intentionally not shooting children. Oh, and that's and character God. growth progress um, <laughs> i would I, like to I, point out that's more character growth in one session than most parties of D will ever have <laughs> i'm like so impressed that i knit bartholomew a beer cozy so that his dishwasher <laughs> beer stays the appropriate temperature as a reward for this um just what town we can get back to the status quo as we move on that's true. Uh, I will let you guys tell, uh, tell us all in one short sentence what your character does before unfortunately riding off into the sunset, or I guess not if you want to marry George and raise 20 orphan gunslingers. I, that's fine too. Like if you're just going to retire this character and become like the mother, not Mother Teresa, who is somebody that did a bunch of good social programs? I don't know. Elton mother John. Terrible, do your research. Uh, <laughs> like the old lady with the shoe that had all the kids. Yeah, no, I'm not going to marry George. I mean, we might in the future. Like, we got to get to know each other. I'm already a widow. I don't need to get back in that social structure right now. But I'm going to move. I'm going to have a franchise of my tortoise ranch in this town uh, to give the kids something to do because everybody loves a good tortoise raisin uh, situation. Um, and I might oh. ride with my root and toot and five. I feel like Sandy and Tom are coming with us, though. No, I'm teaching them how to grift in this town. Mm, fair. Tom's Turtle Ranch. <gasps> Tom's Turtle <Tom's> Ranch. Tor- <laughs> tor- Turtle is spelled T O R T L E, by the way. <laughs> uh, all right, Louise, what is Karn doing? Uh, I am uh, spending what little time we have, obviously not full fledged lessons, but got to get a couple of the orphans on the up and up, but how to grift these tourists that are coming in such that they can always provide for themselves. So music lessons abound. And you know, I just make a little on the side for me before riding out of town. Um, but mostly, uh, I suppose we should probably, we, we have the moniker of the five and yet we are standing firm at the four, perhaps extending an invite to George to join the posse. One I do more like it. for me. To I do like it. All right. What is Bartholomew doing? Our, our glorious uh, top hatted friend. Bartholomew will spend whatever little time he has left in the town uh, trying to help the sheriff with wrangling any other issues. But whenever he runs into the situation where there's a kid at the scene, even if everybody can tell they're perfectly innocent, he immediately assumes it's them and stares them down and starts accusing them. But he doesn't shoot them. He spends a long time accusing them until people have to convince him, hey, you're wrong. And then he'll help find the actual people who did things. That's amazing. Uh, I think it turns out being cram over here, but neither here nor there. Or Sandy, just like running away, like rubbing her little raccoon hands together. Uh, all right, Ike, what are you doing? What is your last thing you're doing in this town? All right, Lupanda is going to uh, refill on his snacks, fill his satchels, donkey satchel, satchel with a bunch of snacks, get his, get his restock, and uh, hug any orphan that is willing. And, and, and when they hug them, I, I reach over and I whisper, you're now part of the orphan gang. <laughs> Just very solemn nods from the assembled children. Um, and with that, our red panda posse rides off into the sunset to find another town. Uh, join us next week for episode two of Orphans with Guns. Uh, <laughs> And Thank that you. brings uh, this one-off campaign of Red Panda Redemption to a close. Uh, thank yeah. you to all of you. Who, yes, thank you, Ike. <laughs> Give a round of applause for yourself, Ike. That was beautiful. Um, thank you to all of you for playing. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all of you at home uh, who are watching this uh, in whatever state of editing that it is in. I'm going to give poor Riley an aneurysm at this point, honestly. He keeps telling me we need to stop, and like curse words keep getting like snuck in. <laughs> Um, it, well, actually, it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, but thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If this seems like something that you are interested in supporting, or if this seems like a fun game that you would like to run with your friends, Red Panda it's Redemption fun. is available. <laughs> thank you, Ike. I, I have a, a player testimonial, and we're not even in game for me to kill his character as a threat. So, 
it's Ooh, that's worth something. Nine, nine. <laughs> um, child, child shooting at not included. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's an expansion. It's an expansion. <laughs> uh, it's such a weird thing because like all of us are like really nice people. <laughs> real life. Um, in any case, uh, if this is something that you guys find really enjoyable, or this is a game that you want to play for yourselves or your friends, uh, this is available on itch.io and drive through RPG for one whole dollar. Um, and it's going to be a dollar forever. So that's like a desks and dorks promise. Uh, it might be less than a dollar at some points randomly throughout the year, but it's always going to be no more than a dollar. So, uh, if you have enjoyed this, uh, and you feel like doing this, please toss us a buck. You can also find us on YouTube, Instagram, and all of those places to watch your favorite board gaming podcasts. Uh, and that's Toss it. a coin to your dork. Toss a coin <laughs> to your dork. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, internet of plenty. Uh, and that's yes, it, 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 folks. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you later. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, editors.